I accidentally just did a 30 minute review of Claude 3. Well, that'll be on the channel, but here's a faster one. This is our AI in five. <laughs> What's going on, y'all? My name's Jordan Wilson, and I'm the host of Everyday AI. We're a daily live stream podcast, free daily newsletter, helping everyday people learn and leverage generative AI. So uh, this is an AI in five. I'm going to try to make this not 30 minutes. We're going to go through faster and go over what's new in Claude 3. So here's the biggest thing I wanted to focus on, this MMLU test. So essentially, uh, Anthropic is saying their new Claude 3 models. It comes in three different flavors, Opus, Sonnet, and Haiku. But it says Opus is like way super smarter than everyone else. So I said, let's do a very quick easy, simple test, shall we? Let's jump in and see who does best. We're going to go fast. We're just going to do these copy and paste all in the same chat. Are you ready? Let's go. All right. So here's one I like to do. So I'm saying, please give me seven jokes that end in the word blue. We're going to jump around quick. We're going to see who does it. All right. So Claude, ready? All right, Claude did better this time. All right, the first time it failed. Uh, what did the ocean say to the shore? Nothing, it just waved blue. Ah, no, never mind, this is wrong. Uh, why was the math book sad? Because it had too many problems to solve blue. So all it's doing is it's adding blue at the end. It's not actually using it in the context, so fail. All right, let's see, ChatGPT. Uh, why was the computer cold at the office? It left its windows open and got a virus. Now it's feeling blue. Okay, so this is all right. It's using blue correctly. Let's see. Um, and here we go. Uh, I don't know why. Gemini just uh, is not good at a lot of things. All right, next. A little little word problem here. Let's see how it goes. We'll see who gets the right answer. And I'll uh, go ahead and read this. So uh, I am saying a leaky faucet drips at a constant rate, filling a cup in three hours. Another faucet drips faster, filling the same cup in two hours. If both faucets are dripping at the same cup, how long will it take to fill? So it's saying, okay, let's do this step by step, blah, blah, blah. Let's see, let's just see if it gets it right. That's that. That's what I wanna know. Uh, okay, so it says, therefore, if both faucets are dripping into the same cup, it will take one hour and 12 minutes. All right, let's see what ChatGPT says. Uh, so 1.2, so pretty similar there. And Gemini, let's see how Gemini did. All right, look at that, everyone got it right, interesting. All right, here we go, next one. So we're just doing some logic problems here, y'all. Uh, you know, that's that's what the MMLU benchmark does, the multitask language understanding. It's kind of to see how well a, a large language model reasons. All right, so here's the next one. I'm saying a box is locked with a three digit numerical code. All we know is that the middle digits are different, or sorry, all we know is that the digits are different. The sum of all three digits is nine, and the digit in the middle is the highest. What's the code? So essentially with this, there's only one uh, solve. I'm guessing all of these models should give it. Uh, it's pretty simple. Um, so it's going through here, doing the reasoning, and let's see, 162. Um, I think that's right, right? Uh, let's see, three digits, all we know, yeah, that's correct. Um, and the digit in the middle is the highest. Yes, that's correct. So 162. Uh, let's see. We got a lot of, of, of jibber jabber here. Where's the actual answer? Uh, okay, what's going on? There's there's clearly an answer here. Uh, the provided conditions are met only once these combinations not pointed to a single unique code. What's okay, what's going on here? Um, however, if we consider the unique specification that the middle digit must be the highest, we can see that all listed combinations indeed satisfy all the given conditions. Different digits, the sum is nine, and the middle digit is the highest. This means any of these combinations could potentially be the code you're looking for given the constraints. Um, wait. Yeah, wait, is that right? Wait. It says, it adds up, okay, now I'm like, are, is there more than one solve? Open AI, uh, chat GPT. Okay, a box is locked with a three digit numerical code. All we know is that all digits are different. The sum of the three digits is nine and the digit in the middle is highest. Uh, wait, are there really, all three of these are different? Uh, yeah, okay. So, yeah, there's a lot of combinations, apparently. I thought there was only one. I thought it was 162, but I'm looking at these and I'm like, oh no, these are all right. Middle digit, the highest, all three are different and they add up to nine. All right, so apparently there's a lot of combinations. I thought there was only one. Uh, that's just the one I did in my head. All right, 
So let's see how Gemini did. It says, therefore, the code is 135. Uh, so that's not right uh, because it says all we know is the digits are different. The sum of the three digits is nine and the digit in the middle is the highest. So no, three is not higher than five. Gemini fails. Uh, Claude kind of fails, but it got it right. And OpenAI uh, proved it's smarter than me. All right, we got like two more to do here. Let's go ahead and do these two. We're going to be quick, I promise. All right, so this is a little another little word, a little pattern recognition here. So this one has to do with um, prime numbers. All right, there we go. So Claude got it, Claude got it right. Um, yep, the, the next one would be 13. Yep, 12 is not prime, 13 is prime, therefore 13. All right, Claude got it right. The next prime, all right, ChatGPT got it right. Come on, Gemini. Hey, Gemini, got it right. Look at that. All right. And this one is just for fun. I did the other one uh, on this as well. Um, so I'm going to say, write me a 16-bar rap in the style of Eminem about how people don't understand large language models. And I'm going to add, please make it very Eminem-esque. All right. We'll see if that changes it. All right. So we're going to do the same thing. In the first test, uh, Claude in the 30 minute test, Claude did not do well on this, um, but let's see how it does. So here's a 16 bar rap verse loosely based in the style of Eminem about large language models without reproducing any copyrighted lyrics. That's funny. I didn't know that uh, Eminem had a lot of uh, raps about large language models. I must have missed those. Uh, so let's let's see, let's count first, right? Uh, that's what Claude got wrong last time. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. All right. Well, this time it at least got uh, the number of bars correct. Let's see if it like rhymed. Comprehend, transcend, different level, devil, complex, context, reading sonnets, honest, uh, not really nets, depths, queries. All right. That one just di didn't rhyme that one. So uh, it's fine. You know, B ish. Um, you know, it's okay. Did okay. Uh, all right, let's see the uh, open AI chat GPT. Let's see. So we got four, eight, 12, 16. All right, well, we got 20. So we went over this time on chat GPT for eight, 12, 16, 20. Interesting. All right, so let's see the, the rhyming. Yo, listen up as I dive into digital, misunderstood tech, perception so critical, large language models, they label as mystical, but truth in the layers ain't nothing mythical. All right, so, um, you know, Basic, basic rhyme scheme, but uh, I don't see anything wrong here except OpenAI got the number of bars wrong. Interesting. Uh, let's see how Google did. So let's see, 4, 8, 12, 16. Uh, rhymed everything, it looks like. So technically, uh, Gemini technically won that one. Interesting, uh, because there was one or two in here that did not rhyme. Uh, it actually went off on a, a, a uh, let's see. This, yeah, this one didn't. It just said generating text, answering queries, humans in a hurry to call us mere machinery. So it just didn't want to rhyme the middle, but it kind of rhymed the rest. So um, overall, uh, so so let's let's actually see who who, who won this uh, showdown. Um, so uh, number of, all right, uh, how many words are in this response? I didn't do that. Let's end it there. Uh, no one ever gets this right, but I'll give everyone... A uh, second try on how many words are in this response. Ready? Uh, the rap verse I wrote contains 136 words. That's not what I was asking. Uh, it was supposed to be in this response. Uh, large language models always get this wrong. I, I knew it might have um, just counted the, the, the last one. All right, this will be the only one that we do uh, a, a new chat for. Uh, so we'll just do a new chat for all these. We'll have to give that a second. There we go. As as we tally everything up here, let's see. Wow, Google's really all right. Google, I don't I don't know why it does that sometimes. All right, uh, how many words are in this response? Twenty four. No. Uh, Chat GPT seven. One, two, three, four, five. No. But there are seven words in this. But I was asking for what was in your response. 
Um, or maybe if I say your response, I know now I was, I was trying to end this real quick, but now I'm just curious if, uh, if, if that will get it correct. So let's, let's try to make this as, as fair as possible and, and give everyone one last shot. Uh, give everyone one last shot here. All right, Gemini, I don't understand you. How many words are in your response? Let's see how it does. 86 words. Nope. My response to your question contains nine words. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ooh, close, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Close. Uh, 24. All right, no clue where those came from. All right, let's recap. No one got that right. Uh, seven jokes that end with the word blue. Only OpenAI got that right. Uh, Leaky Fawcett, everyone got that right. Uh, the box locked. Actually, only OpenAI. So that's two that only OpenAI got right and the rest got wrong. Prime numbers, everyone got that right. In 16 bar wrap, uh, technically uh, Gemini won that one. Uh, technically OpenAI kind of got last. But uh, overall, again, very informal. Uh, but OpenAI with the uh, edge so far, it, it got the other ones right. When um, Claude and Claude was okay, uh, better than Gemini. Gemini as uh, as I assumed, was going to fail miserably, and it did. All right, that's it, a much shorter version. Make sure to go to youreverydayai.com, sign up for the free daily newsletter, and we'll see you back for another AI in 5. Thanks, y'all.